Let's set up a Raspberry Pi 2 and install the latest edition of the Raspbian operating system. This is a Raspberry Pi 2B. The Raspberry Pi 2 has a quad-core processor and a gigabyte of RAM. Here are some of the features that it comes with. Four USB ports, an Ethernet port, HDMI video out, audio out, it's got two interfaces here that accept ribbon cables. These interfaces can be used to connect out to a camera and a graphical display like a touch display. It's got GPIO or general purpose input output pins here for coming off of the board and connecting to let's say motors or sensors or any type of IOT, Internet of Things enabled types of devices that you could create with it. The hard drive is in the form of a micro SD card and it goes in here at the bottom of the board. Okay, so let's take a look at what else I have here. There's my micro SD card. You want as fast a card as possible. Here's the card adapter. And then I can put this card or the adapter into this USB adapter for getting it into my laptop or my computer. Also, I have a wireless USB dongle here for connecting to the network wirelessly. You're also going to need a keyboard and mouse and an HDMI video cable to connect out to an HDMI port like a TV or a monitor capable of HDMI in or in my case I use an HDMI to DVID cable to connect my Pi to my monitor. You're also going to need a power adapter with a micro USB connector. A typical power adapter that you would use for an Android phone will work. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is format the micro SD card here and then burn an image of a Linux distribution for the Raspberry Pi onto this micro SD card. I'm going to do that next. And to do that, I'm going to put the micro SD card into the adapter and then I'll put this adapter into my laptop. Now I need to burn a copy of Raspbian, the Linux operating system for the Raspberry Pi created by the Raspberry Pi Foundation to the micro SD card. So I've inserted the micro SD card into my laptop. You can see that it shows up here as the G drive on my Windows computer. Now let's take a look at that. I'll just go to computer here and you can see that it sees the micro SD card as 37 megabytes free of 60 megabytes. Now this is incorrect. This card is actually a 64 gigabyte micro SD card, but since it already has a version of Linux on it, the Windows system is not able to read the contents of the drive correctly. So what we need to do is we need to format this card first so that we can get access back to our 64 gigs. Now to do this, I'm going to use the program SD Formatter version 4. If you do a Google search for SD Formatter version 4, you'll find it. And it's free to download. And so I'll launch it now. And you can see it's already sees that I want to target the G drive. It sees it as 56 megabytes. But what I'll do is, is I'll format it. And I'll click OK. All right, the format's complete, and you can see now it sees this as a 32 gigabyte card. I was wrong, it wasn't a 64 gigabyte card, it was a 32 gigabyte card. Well, that's fine, that's perfect. That's all of the space on the card. Instead of 32 gigabytes, the size read by the file system is 29.8 gigabytes. Okay, I'll exit SD Formatter. I formatted my card back to nothing and now I can use another program to basically copy this image that I have here of Raspbian Jesse which is the latest image of the Raspbian operating system that I downloaded from raspberrypi.org. This image file which is 3.66 gigabytes I need to image over to the micro SD card. Now you can't simply just copy it 
to the micro SD card, that won't work on a Windows system. So to copy this image to the micro SD card and create a bootable drive out of that micro SD card, I'm going to use a program called Win32 Disk Imager. Win32 Disk Imager is also free to download. Just do a Google search for Win32 Disk Imager and you'll find it. So I'll run the program and you can see that it's already targeting the G drive correctly. Now all I need to do is browse for the image file, which is like an ISO file. It's on the desktop here. There it is. So I'll double click on it. And now I've got the image of Rasby and Jesse, which is the operating system that I want to put on this micro SD card. I'll just click right and click yes. And now it's writing the image to the card and creating a bootable drive or a bootable image out of that card. After that, I stick the card into the Raspberry Pi and boot up the Raspberry Pi 2. This is going to take a while to complete, so I'll stop the recording and come back when it's completed. Okay, the write was successful, and now I can exit the program and then eject the disk. All right, I'll eject the SD memory card. If you look in the video description, I'll put links to the websites where you can download SD Formatter, Win32 Disk Imager, and the link to download Raspbian and Jesse from the raspberrypi.org website. Okay, now all we need to do is go back to the Raspberry Pi 2 and plug in the micro SD card. Okay, I have the micro SD card now burned with a copy of Raspi and Jesse, the operating system. So now all I need to do is plug it in. I'll put it in the back here and then click it in. And then I'll put in my wireless USB dongle. I'll plug in the keyboard and the mouse. And I'll also need to plug in the HDMI video. Here's my HDMI video cable. Now the other end of this cable is DVID plugged into my monitor and the power adapter. Notice the micro USB power adapter here. Notice that while I was handling the Raspberry Pi 2 the SD memory card ejected. So I'll need to push that back in, plug in the power, and now the Raspberry Pi 2 is booting. I'll come back to show you some steps that you'll want to take during the initial setup phase. Alright, success. We have our Raspberry Pi 2 on the monitor.